Jack Golke is. Yeah. You know who he is now. Yeah. Because he's, he's the a, one that hit, knocked down 10 threes. The, you talk about the 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 uh the next Miami Heat player that uh, gets paid twenty million dollars that's an undrafted free agent. Yeah, I know who he is. I definitely know who he is now. He'll be in our G League team next year. He's a, <laughs> and in three years he'll be playing for the Heat, replacing Duncan Robinson when he <laughs> retires. <clears throat> but no one knew who Jack Golke was. That's this kid dropped 10 threes against Kentucky in a big first round upset. You know who Rob Dillingham Dillingham is? Yep. D, DJ Wagner? Yep. Most people don't have any idea who these guys are. That game drew 6.2 million viewers. You know how many viewers the highest rated women's game drew all weekend? 4.9 really million. That was Iowa versus West Virginia. So Oakland University out of Michigan, Detroit, Michigan, drew more than Caitlin Clark. Let that sink in for a second. And Rudy loves Caitlin Clark. And I love Caitlin Clark. And I watched both Caitlin Clark games. And the second one was a big time struggle because her teammates, Mm -hmm. no one can make a shot except for her. She had 32. They had 64. Hey. But the. West what? Virginia had a bunch of Pat Beverly's running around out there <laughs> guarding her, bro. No, they were driving her crazy. They were driving her crazy. But it is – I'm sick of hearing the narrative that the women's game is killing the men's because it's complete bullshit. The game the, – the, the top two rated games of the weekend for women were Caitlin Clark against Holy Cross and Caitlin Clark against West Virginia. 17 of the top 18 – Rated games this past weekend were men's games. 17 of 18. James Madison, Wisconsin, 5.21 million. Arizona Dayton, 6.18. Gonzaga, Kansas, 8.28. UNC Michigan, 10.02 million was the highest rated second round game in men's basketball tournament history. NC State versus Oakland, 4.35. Texas versus Tennessee, 6.66. Oregon, Creighton, 4.05. Marquette, Colorado, 5.61. Purdue, Utah State. Purdue won by 39 and drew 8.08 million people. James Madison got drop kicked by Duke by 38 and drew 7.8. Clemson, Baylor, 3.84. Bama, Grand Canyon, 3.24. That drew more than Caitlin Clark's first game. I, I, I mean, bro. The numbers are the numbers. The next highest rated game for any female game this weekend, women's game this weekend, was Middle Tennessee State and LSU at 2 million. USC, Kansas, 1.76, and Syracuse, UConn at 1.1. The numbers are the numbers. Women's basketball is not taking over men's basketball. It hasn't. It's been a nice event to watch. And when Caitlin Clark leaves next year, it'll go back to being that nobody watches it. Could the Final Four still be a monster event for the women? Absolutely. Could it outdraw the men? Potentially, it's a great possibility if they get the matchups they need. But if, but if this weekend Iowa and LSU lose, nobody's watching that tournament because nobody will care. Not even if USC gets it. Nobody will care. And the constant narrative that the, the, because I've been digging all day for ratings. I've watched three podcasts on TV ratings. I've dug on, dug in on his deep. You cannot find every rated female women's game, but you can find every rated men's game. Why? Because the narrative is being pushed that the women are breaking records. They're breaking records. You know the average <laughs> the average this weekend for the men was 9 million viewers and the average for the women was 1.1 million? And you're going to sit here and tell me the men's game because they have no names. Because you don't know who the, these players are because the NBA is taking them all. And I think one of the games, North Carolina's starting lineup is the same age as Oklahoma City Thunder's starting lineup right now. You don't know who they are. There's no star power. But at the end of the day, men's basketball in college still kicks the shit out of women's basketball and the 35 missed layups again we got. Thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates 
when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel. Thank you.